Well, Cedarburg has one of the most popular 4th of July parades in our area. It actually draws thousands. Now this year, the city's trying to streamline how and when mm -hmm. folks can actually reserve a spot at the parade. Our Tom Durian went to find out how well it worked out. What can you tell us, Tom? Well, Carol and Steve, I can tell you it didn't really go that well. The people here are really into their traditions and setting up for this parade. And so now, as you can see, they're all at home sleeping and their chairs here are set up, saving their spots. It is a tried and true tradition. This is, you know, small town America here, so people want to be out here. The Cedarburg 4th of July parade usually draws about 15,000 patriotic people along Washington Avenue, many of them in chairs put out the night before. But this year, for the first time, the city can enforce a rule that's long been on the books. Before 7 p.m. on the 3rd, no chairs along the curb line. So now if you were to walk away, they're going to take your chairs and ticket you. So, so you if you left your name on chalk, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even supposed to leave your name in chalk to reserve your spot, but we saw a lot of that. <laughs> oh, Cedarburg is the quiet, quintessential Wisconsin town. Yes. But I think what you're telling me is that nobody follows the rules. Well, let's just say we have a unique way in Cedarburg. The executive director of the Chamber of Commerce that puts on the parade says the threat of a ticket is working for some. Police officers on bikes have been warning people and moving chairs. It's over years past, I think we see fewer people um, out on the street as early, so I think people are adhering to the ordinance. For the families that have been doing this for years, they have it down to a science. We take shifts, so it starts at 6 o'clock a.m. Right at 7 o'clock, all their hard work paid off when they moved their chairs curbside. People just chalk and then walk away. Like, we hang out all day. Like, you want to own it, you have to stay. That's pretty much the way it goes. And that is the way it goes. Cedarburg police did tell me today that they did not issue any citations for folks putting their chairs out too early. We did just see a few police officers move them back if they were out here too early. The parade begins tomorrow at 10 a.m. Reporting live here in Cedarburg, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4. Staking out their seats is a tradition. Thank you, Tom.